Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Capricorn. How are you guys? Hope you're all well. Thanks for dropping in. So I just moved, not quite set up yet, so my table's not, things aren't bright and sharp yet. Um, the lighting is a lot different here, so it'll take me a bit to get everything tweaked so it's nice and clear. All right, just bear with me, Capricorn. So it's all about you now. Let's see what's going on here with the Capricorn. This can be any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? There we go. Some of you are waiting for something. So it looks like you're no longer waiting. Something is over. It's done. Okay, it's finished. A painful period in your life may be over. But it could be just an energy where you're just kind of tired of waiting. Yeah, so you're just, it's basically saying goodbye. <laughs> yeah, so there's been some obstacles, challenges, I feel. Um, things that have gotten in the way, I feel like that's over too. Yeah, so look at that. So you're off on a new path. Now this could be an energy of taking a relationship or some kind of situation, maybe even partnering up with someone, taking it to another level. It could be work. No, it could be anything. Oh, yeah, there's the renewal. So it's a renewed energy. Something is finished, it's done. So there's something new. So this is reviewing the past with compassion, forgiveness, and moving in a new direction. It looks like you're in a whole new direction. There you go. So I do see an energy of uh, reciprocity. So whatever it is that you've been putting out there is about to come back to you. <laughs> the new okay so i feel there's someone here you may no longer be talking to obstacles challenges could be just things that you've had going on to where it's now finished okay so this is where the abundance starts to flow so you might have a new person something you've been waiting for okay like i say it could be a job the abundance is flowing there could be more money start money starting to come in you could even be getting a raise taking a job to another level so nice energy there Oops, there we go. So there's the star. Very nice. So it's an energy of letting go of things that no longer serve. This is an energy of reaching for the stars, your hopes and dreams. So whatever it is you've been putting out may be coming back. Okay, renewal. Now it could be a reconciliation, possible. Somebody may reach out, you know, because I feel it has to do with two people. This is two people taking things to another level, but, you know, it could be partnering up, something that creative something you're both really passionate about, a shared vision. So it's an energy of reaching for the stars, having faith in the future, okay, dreams coming true, so there's positive energy here. Very nice. Oh yeah, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. <laughs> Now we know that the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who reaches out, but they don't always say exactly what it is they're after, okay? So I do feel it's an energy of, you know, if you do have someone who reaches out and they don't really tell you what they want, you may be just tired of it. Obstacles, challenges, you know. Uh, I mean, it could be that you that energy is over. This person may reach, they actually may reach out, okay? But it's a lot of times an energy of someone who kind of says whatever, you know, they'll get a hold of you and say, what you up to, what you doing? And what they want is for you to give, for you to uh, give to them, okay? So this could be quite possibly what you're moving away from. Uh, but I do see the star. This is your hopes and dreams having faith, okay? So this is a positive, but it's an energy of letting go of no longer serves you and going down a new path. So it's more like you're off on a new path, possibly even on your own. We shall see. Yeah, there we have. So there was definitely a C. This is somebody who comes in, they come in with luck. They don't really say what they, what they really want. They want you to give to them. They're hoping you'll, you know, if they communicate with you that way, that you'll give them something. But they come in with luck. And a lot of times it's an energy of... Someone who feels like they're not good enough, okay? They have some kind of insecurity. So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy uh, for this person. They, they end up not getting anything. They end up getting left out in the cold. Uh, but I also see a scenario where some of you, money's been tough, okay? You've been putting a lot more out than what's coming in. And I feel that's it's telling you to have faith, Okay, so, so it could be something you're studying, a new area of study, maybe pondering and looking at the details of something here when it comes to finances, taking something creative, 
Okay, you might even think of partnering up with somebody here. We'll see. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles, or pardon me, Three of Wands. Let's do that, yeah. See, it's an energy of someone who's indecisive. It's a failure to see, unable to make a decision, whether you should end something. If you have been having conflict or there's just been a lot of obstacles in your path, See, there's a lot of obstacles in your path, but you're ahead of it. I can see somebody being ahead of that, okay? It's putting it behind and moving forward. Now, like I say, it could be a relationship, uh, taking it to the next level where there's reciprocity. Because uh, I do see a need to release that. It's an energy of someone letting go, okay? letting go of that self-fulfilling prophecy, negative thoughts, feeling like they're not good enough. That's why sometimes people reach out because they feel you're not going to reciprocate when they communicate that way. You see? So yeah, you may have had someone who's come towards you in that way. You may have felt this person was, you know, kind of, I don't know, too much work. Someone causing drama. It's not really worth your time kind of energy, right? So you kind of don't bother reciprocating. You kind of, it's breadcrumbing back and forth and you decide to just let go. But it's this person who needs to let go. Okay, now it could be yourself letting go of self-fulfilling prophecy like you don't have enough. Abundance is going to flow. Something, there's some kind of renewal. Okay, so it's an energy of renewed hope and faith in moving forward, moving past this if it is financial issues. Feeling like you don't have enough. Okay, so it's telling you here, uh, it's an energy of uh, studying something, looking at the details, having faith in yourself, rele releasing that energy, feeling like you either aren't good enough or don't have enough. Yeah. I feel this is going to be an interesting message. Tell me about the Ten of Swords energy. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah. So see, it's a judgment to end something, uh, to release it. And to make a decision. See, someone doesn't want to make a decision or it's, you know, unable to uh, decide at this point. But that's that energy. I think some of you, if you've got a person who reaches out and they don't really tell you what they want, it's because they're hoping you're going to give because they feel like they're not good enough. Okay? So, yeah. Because like I, you know, it's just that energy of drama you know uh, you uh, you know it's a situation where it's not really going to give you what you want so why put any effort into it challenges obstacles drama it's not worth your time yeah moving away to avoid a disaster <laughs> taking those lessons learned yeah there it is now this could be a relationship the one you know, releasing somebody that's an energy of no longer waiting where the ship has sailed see but someone is sitting there they don't know if they reach out, if you're still waiting, if you're still interested. So if you do get a breadcrumbing kind of message, that's why they breadcrumb, because they're insecure. We have renewal. Yeah, see, there's the ending. So with every ending comes a new beginning. So that's an energy of this painful period is over. Now, this has to do with a new path. could be something you're really passionate about. It's a new beginning, something creative. It's about two people coming together, you see, going down that path. Now, it could be an energy, like I say, it's something is completely finished. It could be a couple things, too. You may have a few things going on. Yeah, see, it's an energy of saving your money, holding back. It's also a lot of focus on it, but it's also an energy of focusing on it too much, failing to focus on other things in your life. Um, that can be Capricorn energy for sure. <laughs> And there's the aha moment, the success, see? Yeah, there's definitely a couple of things happening. Tell me more about the star. Let's get a couple more cards around that. About the star, there we go. Ah, yes, the, the release, the walking away. See, this is an energy of walking away from this. Something that's not emotionally fulfilling. There's something lacking. But I gotta tell you, some of you are definitely focused on money, saving money, probably too much. Don't make sure you focus on other things in your life so they don't lack, okay? So there's a little message there for that. Tell me about this page. I see strong Libra energy in this reading. Yeah, see, you're about to get something you want, see? You're going to get something, but you're being cautious, okay? Being very cautious, being careful how much you give, how much you spend, 
okay but it's an energy of getting something you want you're about to get something you want here this is somebody who wants you to offer the cup the cup they're keeping their feelings to themselves because they uh, feel like they're not good enough okay so that's an energy of that wishful thinking kind of energy hoping that you'll offer the cup you see you'll reciprocate if they reach out they're hopeful but it's also like i say they kind of they're hopeful but not super hopeful they lack the faith this person who needs to let go letting go with that energy walking away it doesn't serve but i can see some of you i can see that Moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. See, and there's some kind of transition going on here. Yeah, it's an energy of manifesting, having all the tools you need. Spirit's telling you, you now if it's money issues, you have all the tools you need. You have everything you need, uh, but you can manifest more because the magician is here. So we have a Gemini energy, a Virgo energy, Libra. There's a little fire here, a little bit of fire. And then we have Aquarius, earth energy, definitely money, earth. But I also see that bread crumbing, someone holding back, refusing to budge. See, it has to do with success. It's a win or lose, but it's an aha moment. Someone's having that little moment, and it has to do with seeing the truth in a situation. That's one sword out of the two of swords. Someone might decide to come in and tell you the truth. But it's real, like I say, it's an energy of somebody who, it's like they're leaving their feelings out of the communication, okay? They're not saying what they really want. They want, it's wishful thinking. They want you to give them something. They're trying to manifest, okay? They're trying to manifest you. Could be, you may feel like it's manipulation, right? You're maybe looking at it and focusing on that uh, one thing too much. So I think it's a person who feels you won't reciprocate. And if you do breadcrumb with this person, there's that energy. See, it's a win or lose. This person's going to come towards you. Win or lose, they're going to say something. But they're being careful. <laughs> Very cautious of how much they, what they say. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. Yeah, so there's the energy of the world. Feeling on top of the world. You see, it's time for change. So it's an energy of moving on. Some of you didn't get, you're not getting something you want, so you're moving on. I do see some of you um, possibly thinking of moving, relocating, manifesting a better job, more money. You are capable. It says you have the tools, okay? You have what you need. So if you are feeling like you don't have enough or you're not good enough, like I say, it could be the other person. Spirit saying you have everything you need, okay? And you can manifest more because you have that ability. Wow. Yeah, there it is. Birth of something new. There you are. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, see? Very grounded, practical, sensible. The birth of something new. You're manifesting something. Now, I could say it's a new job. But there's this energy of change. If you have a person who keeps coming back around to you in that energy, you may feel like you do no longer see this person in the future. You're now focused on new. It could be money, like I say, any aspect of your life. So there's some kind of change, feeling on top of the world. So this is yourself in that energy, um, that Empress energy, something creative. So like I say, you could be thinking of creating something, taking it to the next level. You might even think of partnering up with someone. Now, if you have a person who's not so sure, um, it's about taking something to the next level. Maybe you feel like you don't have enough money to put into it or somebody else doesn't. But it's telling you to stay focused, okay? Focus on the future. Keep your eye on that prize. Queen of Pentacles grounds himself, right? This is yourself, grounding yourself, looking into the future, making plans, preparing, looking. At, and it's about being prepared, okay? You're trying to prepare yourself for the future. You're manifesting, yeah, you've got a couple things going on. Some of it may pertain to you, maybe for others, but yeah, you have the tools you need. You're very good at organizing, preparing. Okay, there's that beautiful energy of the Empress creating something new from nothing. Okay, you have everything you need. So it's telling you, you have the tools. So there's something that you're not seeing that you actually have. Okay, that you can manifest here. So, wow. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Let's see here. Princess of War, Two of Swords for Capricorn. Yeah, see, someone's kind of stuck refusing to budge. So, like I say, you could have a person too. 
around you that's not giving. If you have somebody who wants to take something to another level and they're holding back and stubborn uh, or refusing to budge or being selfish, they want you to put more uh, into something than they're willing to, uh, this is where you uh, walk away and kind of do your own thing, okay? So in a way of being cautious, you're being cautious because you're grounding yourself, you're planning ahead, you're looking way ahead, okay? With this Empress energy, with this new, you know, you got some good stuff going on here. You may not see this coming just yet, but I definitely see someone failing to recognize uh, they were stubborn or being stuck. So there's definitely a, a possible relationship energy of some sort here. It could be with anybody, but it's an energy of waiting where the ship has sailed, waiting too long. See, if you've got someone you're waiting for and they're keeping you stuck and single, you're probably going to end it. Like, goodbye, off I go, taking the things you've learned from that experience and moving forward. You're definitely going to overcome obstacles. If you are traveling, moving, relocated, and there may have been a lot of challenges and obstacles there, but there's that passionate new beginning right on the other side here. Something is finished because it's over now. It's, it's telling you just let it go. Um, it's finished. And to move forward, it does look like some of you are saving money. You're trying to hold on to money, but it's hard because you got more going out than is possibly coming in. But it's telling you to, you know, if you're shopping, things like that, if you don't need it, put it back because that's how you get success. It's that little aha moment. But definitely a relationship. I see somebody wanting to take something to the next level. It's making a choice about the one. Okay, it's choosing one person. You may be leaving somebody behind. You're tired of waiting and you're moving towards new. So it's right there. The birth of something new. It's there. Um, it's about, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is very good at preparing for the future, looking into the future. What do I need? What do I want? What should I do? And it's preparing in every way, you see. And that's where I feel that that change is going to come. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, there you are. There's that beautiful energy. That's feeling much more enthusiastic. See, looking at it, feeling more enthusiastic, pushing through that fear and just going. But it's when the time is right for you, okay, with that energy. So it's about moving forward and grounding yourself. Don't rush into anything, okay? Stay grounded. Don't rush. Think about it first. It's telling you to look at the future if it's a relationship do you see yourself with this person or do you think they're just rushing in and then going to rush out because uh, the empress doesn't go for that the empress isn't going to budge you're only going to offer one cup you're not offering all of yourself you're not sacrificing yourself for somebody else okay yeah very nice the empress the empress can be very kind compassionate and very generous but um, because it's an energy of of, of giving See, it's the, the, the good you do comes back to you, you see. So there's something here with somebody where you've done something nice for them. Maybe you help them with things, loan them money, and it's not coming back. They're refusing to, uh, to budge, okay? So, yeah, there you go. So, you know, somebody who has a story, they have an excuse telling you a story, okay? It's also yourself, Don't those little things that you tell yourself in your, in your head that you won't have success. But I think it's a person. There's someone here who's kind of in their head and they're telling themselves a story in their head. See, they're having a little aha moment and it could be yourself. But yeah, this is the storyteller, somebody who lacks sincerity. So really watch that energy around you, especially if it has to do with uh, finances and your future planning. So I feel like you have everything you need to manifest with that Empress energy. It's something creative. There's that energy of being creative. Okay, but being enthusiastic, but don't rush, okay? So I feel like there's definitely some kind of balance here with you. So let's have a look at, let me look at this judgment one more time. Fill in some gaps. Oh yeah, it's leaving something behind. One last look over your shoulder, off you go, taking a leap of faith. Some of you are leaving something behind. I mean, it could be an energy, an energy feeling like you don't have enough. Uh, you don't, you know, you're working on your money. You may be planning something. It's telling you to look at the details. Plan for success. 
prepare for success. Don't always prepare for failure. A lot of people kind of look at it and they only prepare for failure when things aren't successful, but be prepared for success as well. Okay. I do see an Aries, a Sag energy here as well. There's that little bit of fire. So if you have a choice between a couple people, you definitely could be uh, letting go of somebody here. It's not making a decision, someone who's in their head. The stories they tell themselves in their head. If you have someone who's keeping you stuck and single, I, I see you moving on. Ace of Pentacles, or Ace of Wands, pardon me. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah, see, it's an energy of planning for success. See, it's an energy of freeing yourself from somebody and going off on a new path. You're freeing yourself from something, okay? And you're moving forward. So very nice, You because you're planning and preparing for success. Beautiful. Saving your money is also that... Uh, how to have success, right? It's not, it, that's my put it back card. If you're spending, more is going out, you keep spending and it's not coming in fast enough. <laughs> if you have someone who owes you money and they haven't been budging, they're being selfish, acting, they've got every excuse in the book. Okay. Yeah, so you'll see it. Yeah, it's excuses, excuses. Tell me more about the six of wands. Yeah, so it's an energy of something not being successful with one person, freeing yourself and moving on. Sort of like going off, playing the field, making plans for the future. I definitely see that energy. Oh yeah, there we go. So we have strength, a little Leo energy. So it's being strong, being brave, freeing yourself from one situation and going off on a new path. You may have, I see Aries, Leo, Sag. It's interesting. So there's some fire here. You may have people around you. Okay, like I, if you have a choice between a couple of people and it has to do with work or something that's going to bring in more money, um, and you may be having a hard time deciding, I hope this reading will help you. But if you got someone, like I say, that has stories, they have excuses, okay? But watch out for the stories you tell yourself in your own head where you won't have success, Okay. Uh, you you can manifest. Queen of Pentacles is very good usually at manifesting money. <laughs> and with the Empress there, it's creative. It could be something to do with health. could be, um, my gosh, it could be anything. I mean, the Empress is someone who, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, someone who can, um, what do I see here? Somebody who grows herbs and makes um, lotions and potions and tinctures and um, aromatherapy, like all kinds, it's creative, manifesting. You have everything you need. You have what you need to create this, to manifest this. Okay, so there's something to think about there. Relationship-wise, again, I don't want to focus just on one thing. I want to I'm going to look at them both from each perspective because it's any aspect of your life. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so there's definitely someone here. Yeah, you've got someone here who is not telling you something. But you also have someone who's very curious. It's someone who chooses their words wisely. So there you go. You have someone breadcrumbing, someone who chooses their words. They offer one cup, the sippy cup, and nothing more. So I do see you, you kind of uh, moving on here. I think you've got other things to focus on. I, I think it's money, creative pursuit, something that could bring you uh, a lot of abundance. See, this is that waiting, right? Now, this isn't just waiting. The ship has sailed. You're waiting for someone to communicate. Yeah, you may be, but it's also an energy of waiting for the abundance to flow, okay? Whatever you put back is coming back to you kind of energy. So you know, it's an energy of good karma. Okay, so stay in your integrity, speak the truth. If you have someone here who's not telling you, someone who chooses their words, they only tell you kind of what you want to hear. And I see the energy of releasing that, someone with a little Aquarius in their chart, possibly. But I, I feel as though you're just moving, you're moving forward, you're leaving something behind. It's not emotionally fulfilling. They offered one cup, nothing more. So... Uh, this is a, a period in your life I feel that's over. Now, if this person has come towards you trying to make peace, 
Okay, so some, sometimes the person coming in to make peace, apologizing, um, you may not reciprocate or even respond, okay? It's possible. Because I just see you often running in the whole other direction. I see such good things for you. Uh, there's definitely a lack. This person comes in with lack, okay? And I, I don't think you're interested, whoever they are, but... It's someone who doesn't always tell the truth. They choose their words wisely. They reach out hoping you'll reciprocate. Yeah, you're cutting them out. <laughs> you're wise to this. Yeah, and it could be anybody. Like, I see a lot of energies here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sag, Leo, Aries, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So uh, I feel as though you're seeing the truth in a situation. You're speaking your truth. You're going to cut someone out here. You're... You're not offering them anything, so it's wishful thinking on their part because you're moving on. It could be somebody coming back around. If you are worried about it, I feel like you're going to change your focus and staying focused on this other path that you're on, okay, to do with money and finance, creative pursuits. But I, I love this because there's nothing better than the magician, uh, the queen of um, pentacles and the empress to tell you that you're focused on money, and something creative is something big okay now this could be you may have to put out a little bit more money than you want to maybe you feel like you don't have enough but it's telling you to use your creativity okay to use your creativity your ideas to be wise to think you know, what it is that you have that you can do so i love this energy for you Capricorn, but you're definitely cutting something out. You're cutting something right off here and you're walking away. It's not emotionally fulfilling. You've released it. It's baggage. You're letting go of baggage from the past. It's over. Um, I think you got a person who's, it could be just thinking, but it's possible they're coming in. But this is someone who's going to tell you a story. Okay, so watch that in a relationship as well. Yeah, they could be, like I say, it could be an apology. But they're actually hoping to have success. They're hoping that somebody who comes in, what they need attention or they want attention from you. And I think you're wise to it. Uh, I think you're too smart. That's that Libra energy of the Empress right there. <laughs> you're, it's finished. It's dead in the water. Tell me more about the world. Yeah, there you are. See, trusting your intuition, your inner knowing, your inner wisdom. Why? Because you've learned and you're, you've learned well because you definitely have your eye on the prize. There it is, a passionate new beginning. It could be something creative. You might just be focused on that. Uh, but it's telling you to trust yourself. Trust those little feelings, those little messages that spirit sends you about moving. This is personal growth. It's money. Uh, yes, it can take a little bit of time, but it's also a windfall of abundance. Uh, so there's other things that you're more focused on. I feel that are much more important than uh, somebody looking for a reconciliation or just coming back to apologize for something. But they're kind of hoping it'll be successful. Uh, if you are successful and you suddenly have more money, a little caution there too. Okay? Yeah. My goodness. All right, Capricorn, I wish you the best here. Whatever it is you got going on, stay focused on your success. Uh, and if you are focused on money and you do want some love in your life, it's more than likely there because you're in that Empress energy. Uh, I think you're just, to be honest, I feel as if you focus on your money, you're going to likely feel a lot more confident um, as well. So you become a lot more pickier and choosier. You're a lot more confident when you have money. So it's telling you to focus on that. Yeah, don't, this person comes back, they'll rush right in and rush out. They're like, it's an energy of exploitation, okay? You don't want someone exploiting you, but, yeah, you know, you've got it with the Queen of Swords. You got it figured out. You're wise. That passion, new beginning, that growth, that you know, trusting your inner knowing. Into me, I see, okay? Those little messages, trust them. It's help trying to help you manifest what it is you desire, yeah, see, emotional fulfillment. You betcha. So there you go. You got an energy with someone here you're not on the same page with. Why? Because you're you've leveled up. You you are above this person. Um, I feel you've leveled up. This is your own emotional fulfillment. If you have this person here that comes in, 
Now here for a good time, they'll act exactly like they did before. So whoever they are, don't know if it's someone you worked with or a love interest, whatever, they're around you. They may change their mind, they may not. It's hard to say, uh, but you're ready for them. <laughs> okay, you're ready for this person because your intuition's telling you, right? It's also an energy, uh, as far as this work, because I do see work and money. Um, if it feels right, go for it. If it doesn't, that's where you cut it out. But I, I think you're just moving on. I feel like you're uh, you're at a different level than this person. They'll act exactly like they did before. You want emotional fulfillment. This is somebody who's full of themselves. They want you to keep filling their cup. And likely that's what's happened before. You kept filling their cup and giving to them. Okay, so, yeah, but it's your happiness, your fulfillment. This is yourself here, okay? Having faith in yourself, staying focused on what it is that you're wanting, this happiness. Yeah, this could be some kind of contract or a negotiation, okay? You may have to be really strong and brave if you're um, negotiating something here, but keep your eye on the prize, the emotional fulfillment, the happiness in the future, happy home, happy life. I do think it's possible um, for you to have a uh, to see marriage and commitment in the future. Uh, I just don't think it's with this person, um, but you know it's up to you to make that judgment, that decision. If it feels good, go for it. If it doesn't, trust how you feel when you're around this person. Okay, uh, just be wise. Question them. Be very discerning because you're definitely. Uh, the empress isn't a pushover, you know, maybe you were uh, before, but you certainly aren't now. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see a Taurus energy here as well. So, yeah, I think it's really because I do see two endings. I see two things ending. If you are changing jobs, you're freeing yourself from a job that's not paying enough. You may be thinking of moving, relocating, or just taking another job. Some of you might even be thinking of uh, obstacles and challenges of learning something new. Uh, because the Page of Wands is also somebody scholarly, uh, generally dependable. Um, somebody who looks at the details, um, very detail-oriented. So there's something there, too. So if you are thinking of relocating and moving, there could be obstacles and challenges in the way. But I think with a lot of that inner strength, if you prepare, see way ahead, uh, you can overcome it. So it looks like you're preparing for something. Very nice. Right, Capricorn? I wish you the very best. Take care and we'll see you soon.